Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for Venus sign in Scorpio. If your Venus sign is in Scorpio, this is your love reading. Eight cards on the table, one oracle card. So let's start. Let's start with that oracle card first. You deserve love. You are lovable. You do, Scorpio. You deserve love. Everyone does. Okay. Just keep in mind there is so many types of life, of love in life. It's not only that romance. I know romance take a very big part of our heart and mind and even soul because it's the yin and yang someone to complete you i know we always say that we have that yin and yang inside us but still being in love is different just don't look for love wait for it seven of swords four of pentacles king of swords i feel this is a story about someone who was a liar before then they hold back and left. This person regret what they did to you. They will come with honesty. Let's keep going. Eight cards. First one. Your person, personality. Keep in mind, sometimes we put someone in our mind and during the reading, we feel the energy of someone else. Trust your intuition. This is their personality. How do they feel towards you? How do they see your personality? How do they see your appearance? Is this person from the past or new? Wow, this is the person that we saw before. Their intentions towards you. I will keep this here. I don't know. What they will do, what they want to do, sorry what they will do. One outcome. One outcome. Let's see. Bring the cards so we can see everything. These two cards jumped aside. I don't know. We'll see if they are related to this reading or not. This person, personality. I feel you had a past person who was a liar and a cheater. And you are now with a new relationship, in a new relationship or some kind of situation with someone new. But this person is the person that that this is the person who are showing in this reading. This person is their personality is completely different than the personality you knew before. This person transformed completely. 
they closed a cycle in their life and opened another one. Something I feel happened to this person, give them that wake up call, a kind of a tower moment or something. How do they feel about you? You are their wheel of fortune. You are luck to them. I think this person feel that he or she are divinely guided towards you. You are their counterpart. You are their soulmate. This person with these two cards here about personality and feelings, I think this person is convinced now 100%, they are 100% sure that you are their divine person. You are destiny for them. They, can, they can't run away from you. See these two circles here? It's a kind of circle where wherever they will go running from you, they will come back to you. Even if they will try, they will run and come back to you all the time. This is how they feel. How do they see your personality? This person knows and feel that you laughed. This is you. I think this person respects you in a way you cannot believe. This person think about you that you are that wise kind, polite person, when everyone will do anything bad towards you, you just take your boat and leave. You don't fight. You don't shout. I don't think you did anything when you found out that this person is a liar and cheater. You just left. And I think that was a shocking moment for this person because I don't think they found anyone before who did what you did. Just leave without saying anything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you just left. You didn't say a word, either bad or good, for this person. You just left. How do they see your appearance? I think this person look at you as the, you know, like a fruit from heaven. I think this person sees you like that tree to have everything, fruits, shade, clean air, you have, you have it all. This person, when they look at you, they see completion. I know this card is not about what I'm saying, but this is how I feel. This person think you don't need anything. You are perfect. Is this person from the past or new? I don't have to say anything. 
you saw the short story before. This is, we are completing that. What's their intentions towards you? Regret. They regret everything they did towards you. They regret what they did. Deeply, badly, truly. And to be honest with you, I feel these cards are you. You are the Queen of Pentacles now. You did your healing. You are fine, but you're still deep inside you. There is a place inside your heart towards this person. I don't think you forgot totally about them. What you feel is this is something in the past. Doesn't matter if I love them or not. They're gone. So I have to move on with my life. But I feel that you still have a place for this person in your heart. What they want to do, everything. You are their wish fulfillment. They want to give you, they want to tell you that you are everything towards them. You are their wheel of fortune. What they will do, they will come with that cup of love towards you. How I feel, what I feel is this. This person is determined to come towards you. Doesn't matter, you will accept them or not. This person wants to say sorry and clear the past with you. They want you to know that they regret everything they did to you and they will do this conversation with you, asking you to come back. Doesn't matter if you will accept or not. This person is coming. They are coming to tell, let you know that they are still in love with you and they want you back. And even if you will not accept that, they will come to apologize for what they did. They feel the need to do that. Regardless, you will accept them or not. You are lovable. This person loves you and they have the respect to you is as big as love in their hearts. This person love you as much as they respect you. They respect a lot your personality, what you did. You were very mature, polite person. This person is not used to these type of people. They're not used to someone who will just leave without drama. You did it. And that what made that person rethink not only what they did towards you, they are they rethink about their whole life, their whole way with dealing with life, with people, with love, with friends, with everything. In this way of leaving them, you open that person's eyes that there is still people who respect themselves. This is small move from your side. I know it was not that small. I know it was very painful. It was a very painful situation. But your way of leaving without saying anything 
was that tower moment to this person. They didn't expect that. They didn't. They were ready for a fight. But the shock was they didn't need one. Let's see the outcome. This person is back. Taking them back or not is your decision. But this person is back. Thank you so much, my friends, for being with me. I hope this reading was a helpful one. I hope it resonates with some of you. You don't have to take everything. If you find a word that you need to hear, I'm so glad to know that. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.